Welcome back to Simplify Your Small Business. David Wolf here with Melanie Rembrandt. How are you, Melanie? Hi, David. I'm great. How are you today? I'm doing well, well, and hope you are all doing well out there in podcast listening land. <laughs> I hate to do that. You're one at a time listening to us, and we know that. So thanks for being with us. We are here to, as the name would suggest, to help you simplify your small business in five minutes or less. And, uh, you know, we're having fun with this. So uh, hope you're uh, enjoying the series. And if you're new to the series, welcome. So in this podcast, we're going to talk about how to use internal public relations to help your small business thrive. So internal public relations, how is that different from public relations? Well, David, a lot of people, you know, they think press releases, talking to the media, that's public relations, but you can also use those communications internally. For example, you can use it to entice top talent to work for you. Basically, you promote your media clippings, your unique work culture, all the benefits you have to offer so that top talent come and work for you. And you can post your clippings on your website. You can frame them in your office and just make the outside world aware of the media clippings and exposure you've received because top talent wants to work for newsworthy organizations that are up and coming. And if you promote those media clippings, you know, you're going to entice people to come and work for you. Ah, so yeah, there's talent out there and there is a way to sort of, I'll say, lure them in and uh, get them interested, genuinely interested in your business or operations. And you can do that with PR. That's brilliant. Uh, the other thing we want to talk about is once you have a new hire, teach them about publicity and communications right away. So this is kind of like an immediate idea, right? You want to have them understand the ecosystem of this communications platform, right? Exactly. It is extremely important, especially with social media today. Uh, that should be part of your onboarding process where you teach them what they can and cannot say online or anywhere outside of the office. You also want to discuss with them who talks to a media member. If a reporter calls them, they should be transferred to this top spokesperson at your office. You don't want your employees just talking to the media. You have to control that situation. And also, it's essential that they are taught how to communicate and what they say online and off because mm -hmm. let's say they post one bad thing on Twitter. That's not going away. That will stay there forever. And it could cause a media frenzy and turn into a publicity nightmare. You know, this is so powerful because, you know, employees become, to some extent, the face of any brand within the organization they work for. I mean, we've all seen this where they think it's a personal post, but actually it's reflecting the whole person and the whole person works for that company. So you've got to be, you got to understand the impact of that, right? Exactly. And, you know, you can avoid a lot of issues and problems if you just put it up front, make it easy for them, share communication guidelines, and just let them know all the great things about your business so they have a positive attitude about your business. So they're, right. you know, they'll be less likely to say negative things, but it is something you definitely want to control. So that's an important part of internal public relations. Right, right, right. right. And then the other factor and the last factor we'll talk about is, is this idea that there's language for a brand. You want to shape your customer's version of how they talk about you. And to do that, you have to help your employees understand how you want your company to be talked about and communicated to the world, right? Exactly. And I think a lot of small business owners forget this because they have so much on their plate, but you can actually improve the awareness that you have out there. I mean, maybe your employees are saying positive things about your business, but you just want to be able to control that whole branding and internal public relations, the communications your employees have. So that's part of your overall branding and marketing strategy. Yeah, part of the whole strategy, how you talk about your brand, make sure your hires know about it. So uh, great stuff. This is uh, Simplify Your Small Business. Melanie, uh, amazing to be with you. And, and I want to remind people uh, again, that uh, you should check out her new PR Business Academy. Well, it's the Small Business PR Academy, and it can be found at smallbusinesspracademy.com, right? Correct. And it's basically to help small business owners get the publicity they need at a fraction of the cost of hiring an agency. So hopefully I'll see you there. There's a lot of great information. So oh, I wanted to reach out to my fellow entrepreneurs. It's a great project. And uh, you can reach me at audavita.com. We are a podcast and audiobook production house uh, working with authors, thought leaders, and you know, business professionals to help connect your voice to the world. I really appreciate everyone listening too. Yeah, absolutely. 
take these tips and run with them. Simplify. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Nolly. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.